Well, it's 7.01, so you need to call on me until 4. So this is a special meeting for the Economic Development Commission, um, September 12, 2018, at 7 o'clock. So our first our, our was to call the meeting to order, and our second is to appoint an acting chair. So because we are short so many members tonight, um, do we want to appoint an acting chair? Because we don't have a quorum of members, I uh, think we need to just um, call another meeting date mm -hmm. and adjourn the meeting. Unless you want to wait maybe five more minutes. We'll wait. Okay. Due to the weather, yeah. if you don't mind, we'll wait a few minutes. Mm -hmm. um, Did you get your agenda and everything in the mail? Yes. And you got it? Okay, okay. good. They came just fine. The agenda the bylaws. Good. Kind of Perfect. Perfect. Have you read the charter? Can we still have those? Oh, yeah, Jerry. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, you have to you have to have at least a quorum to do yeah. it. Yeah, right. Except to adjourn the meeting to another time. Um, but if, for example, you, next time we have four members and that's all we have, and you want to appoint, you know, elect the officers, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and elect them because you've got a quorum. Mm -hmm. Right. You can do. You know. You can. Take all of your actions as long as you've got a quorum. There is. Oh, thank you, Paul. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. We got the face of this flight. Oh, you're not cold, cold, right? That's what I said. I bet you, due to the weather. So, should we do an introduction, Paul? Do you know everybody here? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Paul. Mary Ann Chinati. Oh, that's right. That's his. See more? Hey, I'm your guy, boy. Jim Ryan. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, we did call the meeting to order, um, and we decided to wait a few minutes because we didn't have a quorum. So, the and now we do. <laughs> so the second item on the agenda was to appoint an acting chair. So <laughs> is there someone who would like to be chair or I can appoint um, to be chair for tonight, and then um, Kelly. Oh, Lucy. It's been you that you've been on the board before, yeah. so yeah. you're more familiar with it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I nominate Steve for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. We need an acting chair first. Okay. Yeah. So, Mary and I appoint you to be our acting chair. Okay. I, okay. Okay, so first item on the agenda for action is election of officers, uh, chairman nominations. Anyone? I'll nominate Steve Martin. I'll accept that. Any other nominations? We need a vice chair too. Well, we're doing one at a time. One at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this, this um, any other nominations for chair? All those in favor of Steve? Aye. Aye. Okay, so that will begin next meeting. And uh, no, 
nominations for vice chair? <laughs> I don't need Paul. <laughs> Second.
works best if you do, if that is indeed something, I mean, this is just a draft, do you want these items on the agenda? Because yeah. you don't have to have participation. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do have it on there, you can absolutely, you know, decide public participation, three minute limit. Right. Yeah. You know, that well, type of thing. I didn't want the public to give some input. Of course. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't want it to overrun the meeting. So right. in other words, if there's some controversy or something that, you know, that people, you know, want to get out, we there should, certainly should be time or a separate meeting for an errand type situation. Um, but every meeting uh, should be limited. Will there be certain meetings that will be open for public participation and some that aren't, or will this be? If you have public participation as an agenda item, every single meeting, it would be. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is fine. Which, yeah, you could, I think we want the public's participation. Yeah. So. yeah. But I do agree it's time to go Yeah. Yep. But I think the standard that runs for all the other boards is just mm -hmm. So what are we thinking for a time? Time on three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah, I would say three minutes. So mm -hmm. most people get the point across what we're doing. Okay. Does everything else look okay? Yeah. So um, I will make these corrections, and why don't we put on the agenda for next month's meeting adoption so that the elected chair can sign them? Uh, yes. Adoption under the Yes. 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 Okay? Yep. Okay, so could I have a motion to table action? I make a motion to table the bylaws and then we prepared with corrections and additions for our next meeting. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Um, correspondence in your packets. You got the proposed meeting schedule. You got the bylaws. Um, you got a copy of Connecticut General Statute 7 136, which outlines um, Economic Development Commission. Um, what their duties and responsibilities are. And then I did up a little bullet list of that that basically outlines your task. I call it my shall do and must and may do list. Um, because statutes, as we know, sometimes no offense to you. They can be written in legalese and it's much easier to do a bullet list. Um, and there's a workshop announcement. Uh, CERC will be coming to town in November to do an economic uh, Fundamentals of Economic Development, and uh, it's municipality specific. So it's what it, what they bring to the table in November is just based on what they believe playing field needs. They're going to do some research on playing field as far as um, what's here, what's what the demographics are, um, that type of thing, and they're going to be looking for input from. Um, boards and commissions on on their presentation it lasts about 90 minutes or so. Is that it? Yeah, November 7th. Yeah. At 7 o'clock. I was going to say, it, I think it's it 7 o'clock. Is it here? Yes, it is. No, 4 to 6. It's 4 oh, to 6. Four to six. Yeah. Okay. I have it in my So will we need to have someone prepare? No, no, because we're, we're there to learn. Okay. And to provide input of our thoughts and ideas. And I handed out tonight your copies of the Plan of Conservation and Development. So if you want to, at your leisure, go through that and focus on the economic development section. Um, I think you're going to find that quite interesting. 
I can't tell you how many times I opened that up and looked at yeah. it. And then, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, just as a quick question, so yeah. how was this? How did this uh, come about? State statute requires um, municipal planning and zoning commissions to uh, update their plan of conservation and development at least once every 10 years. And this was due for an update. So they just went through the process. They, the Planning and Zoning Commission created a plan of conservation and development committee, and they got input from the other various uh, boards and commissions and held a public hearing on the document and it was just recently adopted actually. I want to say it was August oh, eight. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And is this changeable? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's up to the Planning and Zoning Commission if they want to collect recommended changes and hold a you know big meeting or do it incrementally. And it's generally it's more uh, time effective if they collect and, and do a bid. Because a public hearing is required and you've got to notify the, the COGS, you've got to notify the office policy and management. Okay. You know, it, it's it's a lengthy process. Um, just as a, is there, are there any other resources for us to, you know, to use or guides or information? Resources like workshops and whatnot? Yeah, I guess. Um, well, actually, the Economic Development Commission, since it's brand new tonight, um, doesn't have a budget for this fiscal year. If I can find workshops that, like for example, the November 7th workshop, that's at no cost to the town. Mm -hmm. If I can find other workshops like that, I will absolutely let you know. Um, and come the budget season, I would urge this commission to work on a draft budget and, and bring that forward to the Board of Finance. Um, and also, if I, if I do find any other... Um, Why are you no, smiling for? Because <laughs> it's always fun. <laughs> no charge. Um, seminars and workshops and whatnot, I will let you know. And I will also forward you any kind of um, informational documents I can get a hold of. And even the ones that uh, there are charges for, so mm -hmm. we can have an understanding of what they cost. Yep. Okay. You know, that would be great to just have an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This one's going on. It's going to cost this. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Second. Wow. Well, yeah, that's what we got to stuff. <laughs> Is there anything heavy? Uh, 720. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nobody. Okay. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. Go back to your flooded basement. Yeah, right. Oh, thank you very much for doing all that. Yes. Thank you guys for coming.